Let's start with the simplest type of relationship, which is the one-to-one -one relationship. We will be using the Yardstick project from the Getting Started with Lucid tutorial. Imagine for our blog, we want each user to have a kind of user profile. This is a typical scenario for a one-to-one -one relationship. And we can make use of the as one method to define the relationship. So we we'll define the relationship in the user model. We'll call it profile. And we'll return this dot as one. Then pass in the related model, which will be app slash models slash profile. The first argument passed to the as one method is the name of the related model. In this case, the profile model. You will recall from the getting started with Lucid tutorial that Lucid uses some certain conventions. So the second argument to the as one method is the primary key, which defaults to the primary key of the current model, that is the user model. Lucid determines the foreign key of the relationship based on the model name. That is, the profile model is automatically assumed to have a user underscore ID foreign key. If we wish to override this convention, we can pass a third argument to the as one method. We're passing the foreign key. With this profile method, we can access the profile model from our user. Now, let's define a relationship on the profile model that will let us access the user that owns the profile. We can define the inverse of a as one relationship using the belongs to method. For that, let's create the profile model. Since we'll be using the default conventions, let's get rid of this. Let's update the profile migration file. We'll add in a user underscore ID column, which will serve as the foreign key on this table. Going to be unsigned. And unique. Then we'll add in a column for the user's Twitter handle. Now let's define the inverse relationship. We'll define a user method. Then we'll return this dot belongs to the belongs to method accepts three arguments the first argument is the related model that is app slash models slash user the second argument is the primary key which defaults to the foreign key of the current model which is user underscore id in this case the last argument is the foreign key which defaults to the primary key of the related model. Now we can get the profile of a particular user and also the user that owns a particular profile.